Hey y'all, so I wanted to do a demonstration of the outlet and this is specifically for my friend Jana. She wants to raise money to buy outlets for new parents that can't afford it and I totally love this idea because we actually um, bought an outlet for Maverick whenever we were, we found out we were pregnant with our first baby and we were those new worried parents who had no clue what to expect and just knowing that you could buy something in order to have that extra peace of mind was awesome to us and we totally did it, but it didn't come cheap. It's not um, something that a lot of people can afford. So, and a lot of times people think, well, our parents did it without these things, so why should we spend our money on that? What a lot of people don't talk about is how common SIDS is and now that we have something that can give us a warning and let us know when our baby stops breathing or when their heart stops that is amazing and we should take advantage of that so what I just want to do is give a short demonstration of what it looks like um, I apologize because I'm not at home if I was at home I would have my box and everything with a clean sock but Maverick wears it every single day we've used it almost every day since he came home from the hospital and we've never had an instance where he stopped breathing or anything like that but we have been alerted when his oxygen levels dropped um, beneath what the normal was and that happened to us one time actually the very first night or the second night that he came home from the hospital so um, I'm just thankful to have it and I want to show you guys who might be skeptical to donate to um, Kip's GoFundMe page because you don't know what it is or if you're contemplating buying it for yourself and you're not sure if it's worth the money, I just want to show you guys that it totally is and show you what it's about. So I'm going to actually put the sock on him, um, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the sock right here connected to the base station. And the base station is what's going to sit beside your bed or um, if they're sleeping in the room with you or in the room with them if they're in their own room. So... Um, right now it's plugged in so it says put behind pinky toe this is interchangeable with any foot I'm gonna put this on the one close to you so we're gonna put it behind pinky okay hold on be still wrap it around and then we're gonna just wrap this around the ankle and velcro Okay, so it's on his foot. I apologize that it's dirty, but you can see here, this is where the monitor is monitoring, and it just velcros there. It's really hard with a baby that won't stay still. This is what it looks like on. This would be so much easier if he was asleep. And then once it's on, you're just going to push on the owl and turn it on. Okay, so now you see it's blinking green. It's not going to give me a reading of what it is unless he was actually sitting still, but that is what it looks like. Okay, so I wanted to just kind of show you how the app works now that he's taking a nap. So I'm going to click on the outlet, and it says checking on Maverick. Sorry, the lighting. Reading's normal, and then we're just going to click on the details, and it's going to tell me his heart rate, 115. Oxygen level 99% and I'll just show you in real time. It monitors it up and down um, I think you know his oxygen level stays about the same usually maybe goes down to 98 or 97 But There we go So You can see it in real time and if it drops below in the heart rate, 60 beats per minute, or 80 in the oxygen, then it'll set off an alarm on my phone and at the base station.